Hi, Real Life Kids. Welcome to our last week of our hero series. We've been talking about the life of Joseph and how we can be heroes like he was. Every superhero needs a great costume, but even with a great costume and superpowers, heroes need help. Superheroes might need help escaping the clutches of their enemies. Sometimes we have times in our lives when we need to be rescued as well. When I was little, I used to love to climb trees. There were a bunch of trees all around the playground in my school. On the weekend, my sisters and I would go over there and climb trees. One time, my little sister wanted to climb too. She climbed up, but then she couldn't get back down. She was stuck. She was scared and began to cry. I had to help her get down. She didn't climb trees for a while after that. This reminds me of our big idea. Our big idea for this week is, heroes need help too. Say it with me. Heroes need help too. In our Bible story last week, we got to see Joseph reconcile with his brothers. After Joseph and his brothers made up, they returned to their father to tell him the good news that Joseph was alive and in charge over Egypt. Joseph's father was so happy. Their whole family moved to Egypt and settled in under the care of Joseph. It was a happy time for them, but it didn't last forever. Today, we'll learn what happened a little while after Joseph saved his people in Egypt. Grab your Bibles and turn to Exodus 1, verse 6, and follow along with me. In time, Joseph and all his brothers died, ending that entire generation. But their descendants, the Israelites, had many children and grandchildren. In fact, they multiplied so greatly that they became extremely powerful and filled the land. Eventually, a new king came to power in Egypt who knew nothing about Joseph or what he had done. He said to his people, Look, the people of Israel now outnumber us and are stronger than we are. We must make a plan to keep them from growing even more. If we don't, and if war breaks out, they will join our enemies and fight against us. Then they will escape from the country. After years of prospering in Egypt with God's favor, the people of Israel entered a dark time. A new king who did not know Joseph or see for himself how God was, was with Joseph felt threatened by the Israelites. Let's keep reading. So the Egyptians made the Israelites their slaves. They appointed brutal slave drivers over them hoping to wear them down with crushing labor. They forced them to build the cities of Pithom and Ramses as supply centers for the king. But the more the Egyptians oppressed them, the more the Israelites multiplied and spread, and the more alarmed the Egyptians became. So the Egyptians worked the people of Israel without mercy. They made their lives bitter, forcing them to mix mortar and make bricks and do all the work in the fields. They were ruthless in all their demands. This new king forced the Israelites into slavery, just like their relative Joseph had once been a slave in Egypt. They had no freedom, and they were forced to work really hard for no pay. They were being held captive by the Egyptians. For many years, the Israelites were trapped there, but God had a rescue plan. One of the reasons we love superhero stories is because of the cool ways the superheroes help the victims find freedom. They might swoop in from the sky, sneak up behind the villain, or use their powers to rescue the people who are in trouble. Can you think of a rescue scene from your favorite superhero story? God had a really cool rescue plan to help his people who were slaves in Egypt. And we'll learn more about it in our next series, The Great Escape. Did you know we need to be saved too? We don't need Superman or Spider-Man to save us. We aren't trapped as slaves or held captive by villains. We have something keeping us captive from the life God hoped we would have. God imagined we'd always be connected to good things. But we are separated from him because of sin. We needed Jesus to come and make up for everything we're missing. But the cool thing is, God sent Jesus to save us and forgive our sins. Jesus is our rescuer and our protector. And no matter how strong we are, God will always be able to help us. 
Elastigirl from the Incredibles movie may have super stretchiness as her superpower, but even she could get captured and would need to be rescued. These rubber gloves represent our hands that perform heroic deeds, like Elastigirl, but those hands can be bound by sin. This masking tape represents the sin that can trap us or hold us back. Sin can be like shackles or handcuffs that hold you back from living out God's plan for you. What choices are holding you back? How can God help you overcome them? Ephesians 6.17 says, Put on salvation as your helmet, and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Hebrews 4.12 says, For the Word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. From these verses, what could they say, what do they say is the sword of the Spirit? The Word of God. What does the verse say is sharper than a sword? The Word of God. Where do we find the Word of God? In our Bibles. The Bible is called the Sword of the Spirit because God uses it to help us. It tells us about the power of God and how God can help us be brave to face tough situations. How is the Bible different from other books? It is alive and active, which means God uses it to teach us and help us. Why don't we pray right now and thank God for his Word? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this gift of the Bible, your word, which is sharper than a double-edged sword, which is our saving grace and is a, it gives us superhero powers. We thank you that we have your word to help us in any time of need, and that even though you help us be super, superheroes, even we need help sometimes too. We thank you for your son and your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We have had a super awesome month learning about how God can help us be heroes. Let's recap everything we learned this month. The first week, our big idea was Jesus is our hero, and we learned that he is the good shepherd who protects and guides his people. The second week, our big idea was God helps us become heroes, and we heard the story of Joseph and the coat of many colors. In week three, our big idea was heroes make wise choices. And we learned about Joseph being captive as a slave in Potiphar's house and then in prison. Last week, our big idea was heroes help others. And we heard about how Joseph saved his people by saving food. And today, we learned about the Israelites becoming slaves in Egypt. And our big idea is heroes need help too. We learned so much this month, including our memory verse. Say it with me one more time. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. Isaiah 40, 31. I have really had fun and enjoyed sharing these superhero lessons with you. Now it's your turn to go into the world and be brave. Because with God on our side, we can all be superheroes. Don't forget to come back next week as we continue to follow our story in the book of Exodus. You will learn how God's people find freedom by witnessing God's miracles and following God's leadership through Moses in our new series called The Great Escape. And parents, don't forget to check out our Real Life Parents Facebook page for resources, community, and events. Have a great week. Bye, everyone. <laughs>